Previously on Stingers. Right. Hey, look. Aren't you supposed to be in Hawaii? We were. We were. Let's just say that my life has taken a turn for the better. Finally. Look at that. What do you reckon? Who is she? That is Bianca from Forensics. Don't knock. Please, come in. I thought you might want to have a look at these. And delivered. It must be my lucky day. You heard what happened to Gray? He's been stood down as head of armed robs. Why? Took away a personal assistant or an official junker. He doesn't have a personal assistant. <laughs> exactly. Travelling is my absolute passion. I never feel more alive than when I'm overseas. India's my favourite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Thanks for nothing. You prick. Stop looking for a driver now. Maybe. Who would you learn to drive like? Oh, I did one of them advanced driving courses, right? Yeah. You having a land? No, I figure I can claim it on my tax. Yeah, <laughs> we claim all our shuddies and ballot covers. <laughs> We're at the top end of town when it comes to tax. We don't pay. They owe you, babe. Time is money. Well, they give you, Mel. Thirteen too many. <sighs> that was fitted up. They ought to make jail illegal. To restrain a trade. <laughs> we look like newlyweds to you. I don't know. Might as well be. Cops busted us the day after the wedding. Thirteen bloody years ago. Just one last job. Pay for the honeymoon. Mm. Gonna have to hose them down in a minute. So what do they call your fish? Does it matter? Yeah. Get a load of that, mate. Gonna go water the horse. Feel free to buy me another beer, won't you? Don't go near her, Ricky. Mate, I'd rather root a blow up doll. <laughs> what did you say, mate? Oh, nothing, mate. You know, just keep up the good work, huh? Hey, hey, I was only joking. I'll show you joking. Now, what did you say? Well, it was a bit of bloody fun. <laughs> Take oh, it easy, no. Mel. Please. Don't do it. It's not worth it, Mel. Aren't I worth it, babe? Oh, oh, you say some respect to the lady next time. My nice shining arm. Please, 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 please. Get an ambulance now. Triple O. Anyone else got an opinion about my wife? Hold on, my Hold on. What's your name, Ricky? Ricky, Ricky, there's an ambulance on its way, mate. What the hell's going on? Hang in there, huh? Just hold on. How's it going? Hey, Ricky, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I'm Glad to see you're still in one piece. Thanks for the concern. Do you want to tell me what triggered this? It was supposed to be a simple meet and greet. Mal Drummond's a bloody psycho. So's his dog wife, Roma. That's what triggered it. What's the word? Mal and Fish have just been picked up at a motel in Williamstown. Uniform spotted the car matching Pete's description. 
And what about Roma Drummond? Well, no sign of her. Maybe she's jumped the sinking ship. I don't think so. Something tells me she and Mal are in for the long haul. This desk is free, isn't it? Of course, Brian. Please, make yourself at home. Am I missing something here? Uh, well, Peter, as you know, Brian is no longer with the armed robbery unit. And? And I made him an offer to join special investigations. Don't look at me. Brian has graciously accepted my invitation, and I'm sure you'll agree he'll add an extra dimension to our performance. Are you telling me Brian's going to go out into the field as an undercover operative? Well, no, not just yet. I prefer to think of Brian as a resource that you can tap at your discretion. Yeah, you know I mean. 22 years in the job has got to be worth something, right? <laughs> well, look, Pete, I know we've had our differences in the past, but uh, what do you say? Clean slate? Welcome aboard. Thanks, mate. A bit of consultation would have been nice. Yes, well, I'm sure it would have, but let's concentrate on the task at hand, shall we? Roma Drummond. Do we know where she is? Well, I had some dealings with her way back uh, when I first joined um, Rob. She's pretty tight with Mal's mum. Maybe we can... I've already checked. Mal's mum said that she's disowned them both. Said she doesn't need crims in the family. OK, we'll put a uniform on watch in case she shows up. Brian, you come with me. Maybe Mal can shed some light on the whereabouts of Roma. I leave. That was a nice thing he did, giving Gray a job. Really? Yeah. Yeah, especially after you acted like such a... Prick, I think, was the word you used. Well, this is a nasty bit of business, isn't it, Mal? Eh? Gutting some poor bastard with a steak knife. Not really your style, huh? I mean, you're more of a shotgun man, aren't you? What are you trying to fit me up for this time? I'll fit you up, yeah. You'd be about the unluckiest innocent man on the planet, wouldn't you? I'm what? Uh, 13 years for an armed rob that you didn't commit, and now on top of that, another 20 you'll cop for this murder. I reckon you're having a bit of a rough trot there. Or is there an evil twin brother that we should know about? Hey, I was fitted up for that armed rob copper, and you know it. Bill Skelton knows it too. Hey, I worked under Bill Skelton. He taught me everything I know, and I'm telling you, Bill Skelton did everything by the book. I don't know which one he used, but it wasn't a law book. Let me get this straight, Malcolm. It's Bill Skelton's fault that you stuck a guy with a steak knife and then just let him bleed to death. Hey, this is what happens. You lock a bloke up for that long and this is what he turns into. You mongrel coppers are to blame. Oh, is that right? And all those witnesses at the pub, they picked you out of the lineup, not us. And they'll identify Lady Macbeth when we bring her in too. Hey, Roma. She's the one that gave you the steak knife. That makes her an accessory before the fact. Are all your bloody crimes done at her behest? Come on, Mal. Just tell us where she is. It's going to make life a whole lot easier for you. He's not going to give her up. He won't in there. But he might in the holding cell. Hey, why don't you get your mate Skelton in here, where he belongs? Maybe you could make a list of all the things that you reckon Bill Skelton's actually responsible for, eh? I mean, there's Azaria Chamberlain, Jack the Ripper, JFK. Ha uh ha, -huh, Brian. Shooter, maybe, yeah. It was Bill Skelton right there on that grassy knoll. Thank you, Spud. Nighty night. Well, the wire is good, Pete. Where do you reckon Roma's at? Sounds like you're in for a long night. Wait, why do I have to pull the night shift? Because I said so.
Thanks, buddy. Hope you're not deserting your post. Oh, just nipping out for a cigarette. I thought you quit. Yeah, so did I, but... Uh, Have you tried those patches? Yeah. Gum? Yeah. Oh, what about those hypnotic courses? I oh, hear they're really good. A friend and of mine did... OK, all right. Have your bloody cigarette. Thank you. So? Oh, hey, morning. <laughs> After you. <laughs> Don't you move a bloody muscle. Get out of the lift. Sit down! Soph. So what's the plan here? Come to collect me husband. And I've brought his bail. Baby! Baby! Open it! Move! Come on, Soph. Come on. Didn't know when visiting hours were, so I made me own. Hurry up! Still on the job, blood nut. See, that's commitment, Brian. You can yeah. learn from that. Pete, I think we have a major problem downstairs. I think I heard a gunshot coming from the charge area and a female voice coming from the cell. Look, listen to this. Roma, let's drop the shotgun, okay, before anyone else gets killed. Shut up! Ah! Roma's breaking him out. Shit. What the hell are we going to do, Pete? Get everyone out of the building now. Evacuate. Everyone, evacuate the building now. Let's do it fast. Come on, hurry up. Chris, get special operations now. Bring up speed, what's going on here? Shit, there's a man down. Brian, get Harris on the phone. So the Roma's in the building. There's an officer down. Angie's in there, they're armed. I don't know. I need a minute. I'm going to back to the building now. Use the stairs only. Inside. All of you. Keys. Give me the keys. Trying to be the knight in shining armor. Hurry up, fish! Yeah, all right. Okay, I've got it. Shh. Okay, copper, hand over the gun. Sweat it, lovey. Sure, they'll pull back. You want me to lock him up as well? No, no time. We'll use him to get to the car. In case they try an ambush. Let's go, baby. Oh. oh, this just gets better. About time. Hey, what the hell's that? That's lockdown, Mal. That means the exits are surrounded. Oh, well. Looks like we've got ourselves a hostage situation. Cover the doors. This man needs medical attention. Let me take him upstairs. There's no cure for dead. Besides, he's doing a good job keeping that lift out of action. Would it do something about these doors? Now one cop with a shoddy. Any more if they try to come in. That's my girl. Away. Alpha 6 to Alpha 1, Sog Commander. Come in. Yeah, Alpha 1 reading you. What's your position, Peter? Front desk at level 2. Security cams give me vision of the charge area. Do have some audio via a bug in the holding cell. What can you tell us about the targets? Names are Mal and Roma Drummond. There's a sidekick they've got called Fish. They're all armed. And the hostages, they're OK? Still breathing, yeah. One officer is down. Look, Kelty. You better get your boys in there before these pricks have time to dig in. My boys are five minutes away, Max. So the best thing you can do right now is to open up a line of communication with the targets. Where is our negotiator? He's travelling, but I don't think we want to wait on this. The sooner we can get him talking, the better. I'll see what I can do. OK, keep me informed. That 
buyback scheme's a bloody beauty. Yeah, cops buy the guns off us, we steal them back. Sit up the stuff. Okay, get the dogs out of here, Roma. Walkies. What do you got in mind here, Mel? Hey, did I give you permission to speak? I just want you to understand that my colleagues and I are the only thing keeping you alive. If we go down, special operations will be in here so fast you won't know whether to wind your watch or shit. Mate, believe me, special ops come in here, you won't be around to know about it. To the chair, handcuff yourselves now! <laughs> Okay, building's clear. Time to get on the phone. You too. What, talk to Mal? You want me to negotiate with Mal? If I blow my cover, it'll just inflame the situation. Well, hang on, hang on. You do know that I was part of the team that put him in jail for 13 years. Which means you've got history. Gives you something to work with. How did you get caught up in this? Well, you wanted us all in early. Since when did you pay attention to me? What's he up to? Run. Doors. Hello, coppers. This is uh, Detective Senior Sergeant Brian Gray. Here's that Mel Drummond. You got eyes in your head, haven't you? Look, uh, Mal. Hey, I'm doing the talking. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, we want a chopper and three million dollars. That's back paid salary for 13 years. Okay, it's a chopper and three million dollars. Uh, yes, I got that, um, Mal. Now, of course, we're going to need some time to organise that. You understand? Hey, did I did not say I was finished. Sorry. We also want a televised admission by Bill Skelton for fitting me up. Detective Senior Sergeant uh, Bill Skelton retired from the force some years ago. But uh, I guess uh, you know, if you give us some time, we can probably track him down. Hey, don't keep me waiting, Gray. I'm not a real patient bloke. No, I will do everything by power, Mal. I can assure you that. That's what I like to hear. Now, look, Mal, I need Mal to know for six to Alpha 1. The main unit's just arrived. We're travelling toward the chart. Timing's Mal. good. Mal's busy Mal. on the phone. You want to get in there ASAP? Okay, there's an officer down there. Is he, is he all right? Okay, what about the other hostages? Are Pete, they you've got to come check this out. They are? You can this assure me of that? This is doing something really bloody weird. Alpha 6. Yeah? My team's taking up position outside the access doors. Copy that, Alpha 1. Okay, no. No, I thought I What the hell's he doing? Do you see what I mean? Okay. There's okay. rope and stuff, right? Okay. You're on speakerphone now. Go ahead. You tell your blue boys outside not to even think about coming in here. I'm sure you can see why. Oh, shit. Alpha 6 to Alpha 1, do not send your men in. Repeat, do not send your men in. They've booby-trapped the doors. Smile for the camera. <laughs> it's all right, Sophie. Nobody's going to come through those doors. Just sit still and calm. Permission to speak? Hey, I could get used to this. The way I see it, Mel, all your demands are very doable. The money, the chopper, they're all within police capabilities. But Bill Skelton, well, that's a different story. Only time will tell. So what's your point? Well, my point is, for any of your demands to be met, the police have to be able to see that the hostages are going to walk out of this situation alive. So I suggest that you release a hostage and that will expedite the next step. It's a, a give and take sort of thing. How about I give you this and you take it? <gasps> Bill. Brian. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Is there trouble? What's the story? Mal Drummond asked for you. Huh? He's done his time. What's he want with me? He wants a televised admission that he was fitted up. 
<laughs> that is ridiculous. The man's as guilty as sin. He put a lady bank teller in a wheelchair. You're not going to do it. Why not? No. He wants you. You okay? Oh, you know me, Edge. I like a bit of rough stuff. You ever been locked up, Fish? You ever been disowned by your own family? Mal, nothing Skelton says is going to change the past. It's not about the bloody past. It's about making that prick pay for what he's done. Is that so hard to understand? Bit of dissent in the wardrobe. Out of it, fish doesn't concern me. Oh, believe me, Roma, it concerns me. I want to get the hell out of here. You'd still be locked up if it wasn't for me. I wouldn't have been locked up at all if Mel hadn't have stuck a knife in that guy's gut. You shut up! Mel, I know what Skelton did. We all do. We don't need to hear him say yeah, it! Well, I do. And I've been waiting 13 years for it. I'm not giving it up now. He always was a bit dodgy, that Skelton. Did you work with him? Oh, well, you hear things. Yeah, I bet you do. Trouble is, a copper like that's not going to give himself up in a hurry. And uh, you are in a hurry, aren't you, Mel? Yeah. What are you going to do, Bill? Prune your roses while your old collar takes out our squad? I'm not letting some thug hold me to ransom. 47 years on the job's taught me you can't bend for people like this. All we're asking is to swallow a bit of pride for the sake of a tactical manoeuvre. The minute they're safe, we'll issue a complete retraction. Now, you do that. You'll have a siege here seven days a week, while every lowlife tries to rescue his reputation on the six o'clock news. You can't run a police force like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, senior constable. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, good. Okay, uh, now what channel do we put the telly on to see Skelton? Mal, that's where we have the problem, you see, because like I said, Bill Skelton is retired, so, well, we've phoned him and... The... We've sent people around to his house, but uh, we've had no luck. Then you better find him, hadn't you? We've got to get these people on the move. Tell those snakes to get Skelton on the phone now, baby. Just ask about the money. Hey, I'm handling this! Mal, Mal, mate, listen, just relax, okay? Now, look, we've got the chopper for you, we've got the money just like you asked, but... Why don't you just meet us halfway? No. No, the cash is not enough. But they've got the cash. Let's bloody take it. Shut up, bitch. Okay, Mal, I see your position, but you've got to see ours, okay? Now, if we're going to bust our balls trying to find Skelton, then we need to know that you're going to do the right thing by us, okay? So, if you were to release one of the hostages... No, I'm not going to release a hostage until you get me, Skelton. Mate, I hear you. I do hear you, Mal, but we, we're going to need more time, mate. No, no, there is no more time. Now get me, Skelton! You see, babe, they're not taking you seriously. They're showing you no respect. Oh, we respect you, Mel. But you've got to give us something to work with. Release a hostage. I can't do it. What? We're going to release a hostage. Treating you like a whipped dog, baby. That's good, Mel. That's great. Now we're standing by, mate. You're making the right move. This puts the onus on the police to deliver. Just going to let them walk all over you, baby. Let me do this. Okay. Which one of you wants to be released? Let Sophie go, please. No. The door big stays. Well, the desk size. They're laughing at you up there, baby. Don't you want what's rightfully yours? <laughs> Alpha One, Drummond's releasing your hostage. Get your people ready. Copy that. Suppose you can have that cigarette now, eh, Spud? I reckon I need it. Consider yourself released from hostage, Jim. <laughs> You did fit him up, didn't you? It's not about principle or refusing to negotiate with terrorists. It's about your bloody reputation. Mal Drummond was a dead cert for that robbery. All I did was give the evidence a helping hand. Did you know about this? Well, as far as I knew, we nailed Drummond fair and square. When the shotgun turned up in his back shed, it was the same calibre, complete match. 
You planted the gun, didn't you? I found it in the creek behind his house. To make it stick, I had to find it in the shed on his property. Bill, Bill, we can't sit on this, mate. I mean, they're killing people downstairs. Understood. But it's not your name that's going to be dragged through the mud if this sticks. Mate, there are bloody police officers dying down there and all you're worried about is your bloody super. Hello, Krista Why don't you get your head out of your yep. ass for one single uh, second yeah, and I'll think about someone else for a change? I might be a retired senior constable. That doesn't mean I've got to take shit from the... Oh, no, believe me, Bill, I haven't even started. What? That was the TV station. They need to know what's happening. Tell them. Tell them I need a bit more time. You know, Pete, we don't have to broadcast. If we get the TV station to make a fake news tape, we can feed it straight down the line into the TV in the charge area. That way, Mel will think that he's watching real TV. Looks like you're going to be a TV star, Bill. Start writing a speech. It will have blood. Blood will have blood. Dirty. I suppose to know what you're talking about. It's from Macbeth. Okay. Shakespeare. Seems somehow fitting. What's it supposed to mean? It means this situation. It's not going to end well for you, Fish. Oh, that Shakespeare stuff's bullshit. It's too much talking. Dirty Harry. That was a movie. Tell him it has to be a full admission and no crap. Read it. Read it now. You're smart enough to know how these situations go down, Fish. Especially when there's murdered cops. The worst part of it is, none of this is what you bargained for. You didn't want that kid to die in the pub. You didn't want this situation either. What you need, Fish, is an ally. Someone who can cut a deal for you in court. Do you understand? He has to say that. He's saying he can help me. If you help me. Okay. Uh, okay. And tell him he has to read that word for word. Got it? Got it. I'll call you right back when they're ready to broadcast. Magic of TV. Skeleton scrubbed up all right. Good. This is a news flash from National Mind News. Hello, Joe Hall in the National 9 newsroom. A hostage drama has ended its second hour at police headquarters. Three gunmen took the building by siege around 8 o'clock. Looks good. You set, Chris? Yep, ready to go. Get Mel on the phone. Tell him he's about to go on TV. Let's do it. Mel? OK, we've had a call from the newsroom. Skelton's about to go on the air. Put your TV on Channel 9. Call, babe. Well, but wait till we're sure. This is a news flash from National Mind News. Hello, Joe Hall in the National Mind Newsroom. A hostage drama has ended its second hour at police headquarters. Three gunmen took the building by siege around 8 o'clock this morning. Several police officers have been taken hostage. The group is believed to be led by Mal Drummond, recently released from prison. Drummond was convicted in 1990 on charges of armed robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. The arresting officer, former head of the armed robbery squad, retired Detective Senior Sergeant Bill Skelton, who made this startling admission just moments ago. In the interests of justice and saving lives, I have decided You're going to come down, today. Skelton. <laughs> it is with great shame and intense regret that I admit to the falsifying of evidence that led to the arrest, conviction, and sentencing of Mal Drummond on charges of armed. Who the bloody hell is he calling? Trace the call. Hello, Mum's me. Now don't hang up. He's ringing his mother. Please don't hang up. Incident to be directed towards. Turn the telly on. Oh, shit, Pete, we should have cut the phone off. deception was carried out in private, and for that deception I wish to apologise to my intended victim, Malcolm Drummond. Did you see that? 
Yeah. The, the, that's the bloke I wrote to you about. The one that fitted me up. The sorrow and hardship endured by Mr. Drummond during 30 what do you mean? Of no, you must have... Turn it on the wrong channel. Turn it on to channel 9. Bye. Quick. Bye. What'd she say? Bye. She said it's just some show about horses. Baby, what have they done to you? I think we're stuffed, Pete. Never change. You sit on your high horse and tell your bloody lies, don't you? Mel, just relax for a second. It's like the gun all over again. Skilton planted it at my joint and he knows it. Jesus Christ, Mel. It was your gun. And you did use it on the job. It doesn't matter. I did everything right. And you bastards cheated me. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to release another hostage. Wait a second, Mel. That's not going to get you out of here. Did we give you permission to speak? This one here's got an attitude problem. Yeah, well, I got a fix for that. Well, you're a big man with a gun in your hand, aren't you, Mel? Yeah, I am. Mel, Mel, why don't we just th take the cash the cops are offering and go? Come on, shooting him's not going to get us out of here. Maybe not. But it'll make me feel a whole lot better. See you, copper. Don't, please. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Alpha 6. Advise on the status in there. Alpha one, two shots fired. We've lost vision on one camera and I can't see them. Okay, Peter. I think it's time to send my men in. Stand by. No, Peter, what about the booby traps? They could kill the hostages. If they're not dead already. Alpha one, we want to try another phone call. If we can lure the targets out onto the street, it's going to give your boys a clear shot. Okay, Peter, copy that. Make it fast. Maybe you're going to be okay. Look at my eyes. You know these things will kill you? I'm gonna die of something. You're not gonna die, babe. I'm gonna get you out of here. Get the phone, fish! Yep. What? No, the, no, the other hostages are fine. What? No, just shut up. Right, we're, go, we're gonna take the money. Put it in the car. What about the chopper? Okay. The chopper's waiting, Mel. We're gonna need a first aid kit for the car. We need a first aid kit for the car. Righto, I'll call you back when the money's in place. Alpha One, the targets are preparing to leave the building. Copy that. They won't know I hit him. Yeah, well, I'm going to organise a tracker anyway. What happens to these jokers actually do make it to the helicopter? If they're flying anywhere, they'll be flapping their arms a lot. We're going to need a hostage fish. Uncuff the girl. Permission to speak? What? I'm the senior officer here. That makes me your best collateral. I think he's right now. Whatever. Hurry. Insurance policy. If I go down out there, you're coming with me. I have to get out now. Now. Will you shut up? Don't you hurt her? <laughs> Stop your bloody whinging. You're a sick bastard. I know what you're thinking. You gotta ask yourself, you feeling lucky, punk? Well, are you? 
Chris, it's me. Gray's about to make the call. All set here. The track is coming through loud and clear. <clears throat> Mel. The money is waiting for you in the car. Let's hit the ride. I can't count on you, can I, Edge? Leave it, fish! I'm right behind you, mate. Fish. Bloody hell. He's taped the shot into Luke's head. Take the shot! No, take the shot, cop. You're dead. Playing dominoes. Mal goes down, Harris goes with him. I said take the shot! What? Shh. What? Alpha One, do not take the shot. Do not take the shot. Angie! I'm clear, Chris. Put your hands in the air now! He's rolled. He's with us. What? Just stay on him. Come on. Church, Angie, you are... You want us to what? Take the shot! Take the shot now! Look! Boss! Hold up. I told you to take the shot. I thought you'd just been a mad bastard. Trust me next time. Now get me out of here. Cross the way. Brave girl. Took a hell of a risk calling the shot. No risk at all. The gun was a Remington 870, only holds five shells and none left. Feeling lucky. You understood, right? Dirty Harry. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, well, so we've got a deal, don't we? I mean, I, I made sure I put the last shot on the roof. We'll see. I just can't get the look on Spud's face out of my head when she... when she knew she was... Maybe if I'd thought a bit quicker or... You did everything you could, Ange. Don't blame yourself. Still... doesn't make it any easier, does it? We'll work through it. You gonna smoke that? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> 